back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Flamena, and if you're tuning in, thank you for coming. I want to share with you guys my all-time favorite uh, products that I use on a regular basis that I really, really enjoy, and that just bring me happiness, you know? They just, like, every time I go back to them, like, they don't do me wrong, so <laughs> they're just amazing thing like I love them I don't think I'm gonna have I'm gonna have enough time to do all of them but let's just start with a couple of them but I think there's I'll do another video separate video for others but let's just start with Olaplex actually okay Olaplex the number three so I bought the shampoo conditioner and the number three but I feel like the number three really does a good job uh, like it says like repairs and straightens all hair types Olaplex uh, number three um it's pretty good I would say that the bottle is ridiculously small like I was expecting to get a bigger bottle so actually the shampoo in comparison I don't have it with me right now but it's probably like this big and then this is like tiny but on the website it's kind of marketed as like the same size it's kind of annoying well it isn't like it's just like I feel like it's zoomed in a lot so you think it's the same size but it's actually way smaller Amazing. I feel like it really makes a difference when I, I use it as a leave-in. Uh, I actually just wet my hair before I shower and I put it up uh, like lather it on the second half of my hair and leave it on for quite a bit. Like it says like 10 minutes but I'll leave it on for an hour because I usually forget that I have it on. <laughs> and then I start doing other stuff and then I forget that I have to shower. So recently I've been leaving it in for an hour. Um, I do it once a week. And I really notice a difference. I use a lot of other things too, but I think it's made a good, like a big difference in my hair. My hair, just to, just for a heads up, it's very, very dry and brittle and thick. So it needs all the moisture it can get. So this is a lifesaver for me. Like it really helps. I just wish they would have it in like a bigger bottle because this is ridiculous. Now let's just jump into uh, scents. So these are like my two favorite scents. Like, uh, scents. Like this, probably the Dior one is like my signature scent that I love, love, love so much. Like if I don't know what to wear, I'm definitely wearing this. Um, I'm just running out and I'm looking for a new scent. So if you have any suggestions, comment them down below. I really like, I initially I didn't know what I liked. So that was kind of an issue. <laughs> but now I noticed that I like floral stuff, but like spicy floral stuff, if that makes sense. Like nothing too florally, but nothing too like strong either. It's kind of like a mix and match in between. It's just ridiculous. It's so good. If you, if you like ever smell me, which is weird, but if you ever smell me, this is probably what I'm wearing. This is the Neroli and Orchidée by L'Occitane. It's a French brand again, I love them. Um, this is actually pretty florally too. It's funny how they're both floral and I like a floral and the warm and spicy, but yeah. <laughs> but this is amazing. I really, really enjoy this. Uh, it brings me back to like uni because I would wear this all the time. It just, it just, it's so like fun and it's florally, but it's not too much. It's not like too, like, you know, it just like when it smells like too flower, you're like, Ugh, this is like disgusting, but it's just amazing. I don't even know how to describe it, but if you're ever looking for an amazing scent, this is it. Like, oh, I just, I don't, I don't. You know it's just amazing beautiful gorgeous it goes with everything it's light I just love it so much um, will be repurchasing for sure like those are my two go-to's and I'm looking for new scents actually because I want to like explore so if you have any suggestions please drop them down below things I should try so yeah another thing I really really love is this like Dior lip lip plumper maximizer if it can focus, hopefully eventually it can. Anyways, this lip plumper uh, by Dior. I've had so many of these. Uh, they have them in like different shades and this is like with the raspberry shade. Definitely my favorite. I always wear this if I'm on the go and I don't do anything. If I have like, I usually have my lash extensions, I'll put this on and it's 
amazing. It also lasts a pretty long time. Like I've had this for literally like almost a year, I think. I don't use it all the time, but still though, it lasts a long time. I usually put it over, like I'll line my lips and then I'll add this if I'm not doing anything else. And it's amazing. I've, I've talked about this before, I think. This is like my one true love. If I don't have this, I don't feel complete. Like I'll just carry it everywhere. <laughs> But it's so sad now with all the masks, like no one can see it, but you just know when you wear this, you just feel so powerful. <laughs> okay, the, another one is definitely the like the pillow talk um, combo, the lip liner and the lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. And I mean, it's, it's, it's really good. I really like it. I, before I didn't really see the hype to it, I just, I bought the travel size version just to try it out first and to see if I like it. I do really like it. They do market it as a, like a universal shade for every, um, for every skin tone. I feel like it's kind of dark on me. That's not what I'm wearing today, but like every time I wear it, I feel like it's slightly too dark, but it, I really like the lip liner. It lasts a long time and it's like the exact shade of my lips, but somehow when I mix these two together, it it's weird. So definitely I'll be repurchasing the lip liner, but I don't know about the lipstick, but it, it definitely is a good nude. Like I'm, I would give this like a nine out of 10. Like don't get me wrong, it is amazing. <laughs> but um, yeah, nine out of 10, it's really good. It goes on really smooth. Um, I don't need to reapply it a lot and it definitely is a flattering shade. I just feel like it's slightly too dark for me but it is amazing. So speaking of skincare, um, I got these like Dr. Dennis Gross, like these universal daily pads. It says here that it helps smooth fine lines. Like the, I saw the hype on like everywhere about them. And I think I bought the less strong version, the weaker, I don't know what I bought. I think they have these in red and orange. They are really, really good. Like it's a two-step process, helps minimize your pores, uh, uneven texture and tone. And definitely the like texture do see a difference. Like I'll apply it and then there's, it's a two-step process. So you have to do the first step. So it's just like this, it looks like this. So exfoliate and smooth as the first step and then the anti-aging neutralizer. I do feel like it makes a difference. Um, I'll do it probably once a week. Um, and I definitely feel like my skin tone is just more radiant and there's less unevenness if that makes sense, but really really like it okay, And then speaking of skin, I got the rare beauty. I picked this up really quickly at Sephora like a week ago and I'm really impressed with this concealer. It's really good. It's creamy. It's full coverage. It's really nice um, I'm in the 120C so cool uh, pretty much like the latest shade again um, But like I can tell it's very good quality and it's gonna last me a long time for the price I was really impressed. It was only like 25 bucks Canadian Selena did really good like I'm impressed. I definitely will be repurchasing this and um, Just like a good favorite to have now like I'm hooked now. I really like it. Okay, now for real, the last thing I got is these. I actually got it a while ago. These, like, in the new year, I got these blue light blocking. Wow, they're so dirty. Let's just clean this up. I got these blue light blocking glasses, and they are... I try to use them just for screen time because I do spend a lot of time on the screen, and sometimes I'll spend time on the screen, and then I'll go on my phone. And it's like the same thing and I'm like I'm not making any real progress here, but they are really cute I really like them. Um, I don't see that much of a difference. I feel maybe it's the placebo effect I don't know. I do think it's good to have uh, Just just because we spend so much time on screens I think if I do it consistently because I always forget I take them off I'm like, oh, I gotta read something and then I'll put it up and I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> So definitely like having these uh, can make a difference. I feel like this is a great investment for the amount of time we spend in front of screens. I got these on Amazon for like 30 bucks, but yeah, I'll link them down below if you guys wanna check them out. But 
They are really cute. I really like them. I just want to see how, like, if they actually make a difference. Like, my eyes rarely get sore, but once they get sore, they, like, I can't look at a screen. Sometimes I have those days where just I can't look at a screen. So I need to be more consistent with these. But I feel like they're going to do a great job, so... Like yeah. these are my like all-time favorites things I've had for a long time that I bought I've purchased and I will be repurchasing because they're amazing <laughs> And yeah, so thank you for watching my video Feel free to comment down below if you want like me to try new things. I would love to I'm always like on the hunt to try something different better so yeah and I want to make a part two of this, so comment down below what you want to see. Because um, I have lots of favorites, like everything's my favorite. But there's some things that are just so, some products that are just so good and work so well. So I love watching these videos. So comment down below what you want to see next. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.